It has to have been the Reaper himself who liaised with the Chikoku in Japan to arrange the exchange. Ah. So it follows that the Reaper's true identity can only be that of the man who stands accused in this courtroom today. Beric Van Zeeks. Objection! Kazuma Asagi. That's what? my name. What you've just told the court. Are you absolutely certain of your facts? Did Gregson really fabricate evidence for that trial ten years ago? I heard it with my own ears. His shameful admission. Where's the proof, man? <laughs> Can you prove that there's no evidence? In that case, I know. The name of the Reaper. What? Lord Van Zeeks? I gave no such orders. I know that for certain. Which narrows down the remaining possibilities to one. If Lord Van Zeeks isn't the one behind all this, then yes, there's only one other person who could have done something like that. I believe I know who it is, too. You... Does everyone know but me? I don't know who killed my daddy. I just had a feeling this name was going to come up. The true identity of the infamous Reaper of the Bailey. Iris Wilson. person who could have arranged the assassin exchange and manipulated the autopsy results is the Lord Chief Justice himself Lord Male Strongheart what Lord Strongheart yes it's true that ten years ago the defendant handled the prosecution of the professor in court but he only took over the case after his brother Lord Van Zee Clint Lord Clint Van Zeeks had been killed. I can only assume that this is the most inappropriate joke in Br British judicial history. Well, Lord Van Zeeks? Ten years ago, I was very new to my profession, but I had a burning desire to avenge my brother's death. So I pleaded for control of the case. But the investigation to that point, the supplication of the Lord to allow my brother's corpse to be examined, all the evidence I was given, the autopsy reports, it all came from you. Gods. I spent my life since then believing I was in your debt for the way you stood aside and let me handle the trial. But I see now. I was very much mistaken. It was a hugely influential force that caused the inspector and the coroner to break the law ten years ago. And that same force was still felt a decade later on the other side of the world by Seishiro Jikoku. Lord Strongheart, Everything falls into place when we recognize that you are the Reaper of the Bailey. The court awaits your response, my lord. This may very well go down in British judicial history, but I assure you, it is no joke. Consider this a formal accusal by the defense. He does not speak for me. But yes, that. It doesn't warrant a response. Huh? A formal accusal. Don't be absurd. The defense's claims are utter nonsense. A wild fact.
fantasy at best. You're not going to defend yourself. You claim there was some wrongdoing with Lord Clint, Clint Van Zeke's autopsy. That's utterly untrue. Objection. But I heard it from Gregson's own lips. He admitted to it. And where is your evidence? I knew this was gonna come up. What? Gregson's dead now. Unless you were thinking of summoning a ghost to the stand. <laughs> you mean to say... I forget how the system works in your little backwater country. But in the courts of the British Empire, without evidence, there is no case. I have no intention of entertaining some wild fantasy that can't possibly be substantiated by anyone or anything. Ugh. This is where we find out that uh, they have given Gregson a little bunny receiver. <laughs> Before he left, it was the prototype. I was alive the whole time. I was only playing dead. We haven't seen the body. <laughs> Order in court. Following Inspector Gregson's murder and in the light of Dr. Wilson's death as well. There's really no one left who could testify about the events of ten years ago. He's there. So that was the real purpose of the Assassin Exchange. This court has no business raking over the coals of a case that was concluded a decade ago. The accusal brought by the prosecution and the defense is categorically denied. I take it there are no objections. I have so many objections! Kazuma, he's more or less waited his whole life for this moment. Is there really nothing else we can do now? I mean, yes. The judge is playing hard and fast with the rules, so I mean, like, why can't we? Is there no other avenue we can go down in pursuit of the truth about what happened all those years ago? If only there was someone who could testify about Clint Van Zeke's autopsy. Why? There is... Someone. He's gone to extraordinary lengths to cover his tracks. Even so far as dispatching Assassin all the way to the, in Japan to ensure Dr. Wilson's silence. Because even though his name was on it, doesn't mean that he went through it. He did the autopsy. And Dr. Scythe won't say anything against <clears throat> Strongheart. The daughter. There's still one ray of hope. Actually, there is one person. One person who could still testify about that autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. There's no one left. I made sure of it. Wait, scratch that last part from the record. Who, Rinosuke? Who? Tell me. Kazuma, I want you to read my lips so very closely. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> What? What? Please, this trial can't end. Not yet. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for the truth. The person the defense would like to call to the stand to testify about the, auto about the autopsy of Lord Clint Van Zeeks is... <laughs> Yujin Mikutoba. Heaven help us, another Japanese. Wow! An expert in forensics medicine, my lord. Professor Yujin Mikotoba, 16 years ago. He came to London with Seishiro Chikoku and Genshin Asogi as a visiting student. And what could his testimony possibly tell us? Professor Mikotoba was the primary assistant during the autopsy in question. He was also the person who actually penned the report. 
incorrect. The autopsy was carried out by the coroner, Dr. Wilson. The report carries his signature. It was the primary assistant's duty to keep a written record of the coroner's work during the procedure. In actual fact, the coroner merely read over the report at the end and signed it. Wow. You really didn't think this through, did you? In other words... I had no idea that's I how they did no it. no idea! Note yourself. Next time, kill everyone involved in the autopsy. What was that? Nothing. Ignore me. In other words, Professor Mikotova witnessed the entire autopsy from start to finish. The defense demands that Professor Mikotoba be summoned as a witness as a matter of urgency. Whatever really happened in that autopsy laboratory ten years ago is something only he can tell us. I refuse. The defense's demand is denied. What? Is that it then? Yes. Guilty. What? But Professor Mikotoba is in London at this very moment. We could summon him to the stand in minutes. No, of course he's not going to agree to it. Strongheart has no intention of summoning anyone he knows. He's far too concerned. He's too concerned about protecting himself. Prosecutor Sogi, let me refresh your memory as you seem to have forgotten the prosecution's stance. Only minutes ago, you accused the defendant of being the Reaper and masterminding the assassin exchange. I did, yes. And I admit that I was wrong. So present your evidence for those claims to, and make your case complete. I, ah. Uh. At this time, I don't have the requisite evidence. But that's exactly why we need te witness testimony. Professor case is closed. There are no clues in the distant past that will bolster your argument today. Holmes! Holmes, help! I am afraid to say, Prosecutor Osogi, that you would appear to be possessed by the spirit of your late homicidal father. Now, as I stated earlier, this court has already reached a conclusion with respect to the matter at hand. Inspector Gregson was murdered by Japanese Supreme Court Judge Seishiro Jikoku. As for any hurt, hidden circumstances that may exist, they will be investigated in due course by the proper authorities. Objection. But we all know what will happen. That'll just give the mastermind of the whole venture time to cover his tracks again. By which you mean me. Your punishment for this contemptible behavior will be decided at a later date. As for you, Prosecutor Asuki, you will be rep remanded following these prepared proceedings. Willingly, I trust, since you gave your word. <sighs> this futile game of revenge is over, young Master Asuki. I declare this trial to be over. Hold it! What's up, bitches? M Mr. Sholmes! This is no place for amateur detection, Mr. Sholmes. May I remind you that these proceedings are closed to the general public. You will leave the courtroom at once. Objection. Mr. Sholmes was instrumental in the apprehension of Seishiro Jikoku before he led from, fled from Europe. Italy is in Europe. Anyway, the court should hear what he has to say. But he was on sea. No. Lord Mayo Strongheart, it's imperative that you refrain from bringing this trial to an end at this stage. Is it really? And why would that be? The Queen said so. Who the, fuck, who the fuck is that? I answer to no such higher power. You need to only recall your own words from the opening of the trial to answer that question, if I may. We will not. We will stop at nothing to uncover the whole truth behind these disturbing findings. 
Surely it can't be that the shock of being accused of being the Reaper yourself has erased that from your memory, can it? How did you know that? The whole truth, sir, has already been uncovered. How did you know about the, my own words during the proceedings of the court? Have you been spying on us this whole time? Yes, but that's not the point. It would seem that we have a great many important members of the judiciary present here today. I put it to you, my dear fellows. Should the trial end at this juncture? After all, why have you been invited to attend? To nod along to the prevarications of your superiors? Shut the fuck up, all, all of you. It seems to me that we stand before a door that leads to a new era of legal practices. A door that he's a job. Let us emerge from the shadows of the Reaper's decade-long ascendancy. For you and you alone, my dear fellows, have the power to push this door open now. Auditors in the gallery have no rights to express an opinion on court proceedings. Silence. He's right. George has absolutely absolutely here. Yes, if he calls to try and for an end, it must end. But they that really do. I sense dark things occurring behind the scenes. Dark things indeed. Is there a single person here present who can blah 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 blah? What? What the? Trial should go on. Summon the witness. That's right. We need to clear this up before that young jubbly's fellow is reprimanded for his custody. Something da 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 da. British noises, British noises, British noises. My lord, you assure those present that you would uncover the whole truth here. Vindicate yourself from this outlandish accusation. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. That's the very foundation of British law. It is as the random British people in the audience have said, my lord. A toast to my dependable colleagues in the gallery. On with the trial! On with the trial! Testify! Testify! Have you forgotten this Testify. is Britain and not France? Where there... If you want to protest, go to France. Well, my lord, you hear the voice of British status, I take it? I think you'll find it rather awkward to silence. <laughs> I was gonna say, the court will recess briefly. Just enough time for one more joke about swing sets. I have no intention of shrinking from these allegations. Bailiff, arrange for the subpoena of the witness at. Wait, me? <laughs> oh, Asogi. Uh, yeah, right. No, 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 me, Katoba. <laughs> as soon as the gentleman arrives at the courthouse, we shall reconvene. Recess won't be necessary, my lord. Pardon? Mikotoba is a close friend of mine. He accompanied me today and is waiting in the antechamber as we speak. I do believe he's been enjoying a little trip down memory lane, in fact. What? Pro Pro Professor Mikotoba is here in the courthouse. Uh, Mr. Sholmes, you... You didn't know this would happen, did you? My proof is in the pudding, my boy. My dear fellow, no one is in a better position to answer that question than you, Shirley. I wasn't just asking for the fun of it, you know. Well, I must thank you for your assistance in this matter, Mr. Sholmes. However, if you are of no further use here, kindly leave the courtroom at once. But of course, in truth, I find myself rather busy now as a result of these developments. Mr. Argudo? Uh, yes? I trust you have Iris's little lucky charm with you? Absolutely, I ate it with my cereal. Oh, oh, this thing, uh, it's still in my pocket. She sends her regards and a reminder. If you find yourself at a dead end, the ears are at your disposal. Just one tug, if you please. Oh, um, of course. And in that case, the trial will continue without delay. Bailiff, show the witness to the stand, and please refrain from 
tugging on ears. From tugging on ears or un... And uh, please refrain from rattling incessantly. <laughs> so it's Lord Strongheart. He's the Reaper of the Bailey. As if it wasn't obvious from the first moment we fucking laid eyes on him. He's the most evil looking character in the whole series. Where exactly is this trial going to take me, I wonder? Just how deep am I about to be plunged into the blackness of the abyss? Well, I'm ready. I'm ready to head into the heart of this maelstrom and confront whatever horrors it tries to drown me under. Next time on Side by Side Plays.